I hate Sanji, and it's not... It's not just because he's the pervert character. It's because he's, while currently very low on my list of favorite straw hats, it wouldn't take very much to take him all the way to one of my favorites. So here's how to do that. Hi, I'm Chaos, and I normally don't do this. This being a very loosely scripted uh, critical analysis of anime, but this channel is meant to be whatever the fuck I want it to be, so buckle up, bucko. Buckle up, bucko, what the fuck? <laughs> You know what, we're going with it. So songs, memes, voice acting, comedy, the two different scripts for an hour long video essay I'm working on, they may or may not ever happen. It depends whether I finish them, it depends whether I have the willpower to edit them. What I'm saying is that if you're here for me, this might be a little too based in One Piece for you to necessarily jive with, but I'm not planning to make more similar, so stick around for other stuff. And if you're here for One Piece and you enjoy my general talkingness, then you might want to check out the other stuff on the channel. Sick. Cool. We plugged it? Did we do plug it? <sighs> right. Sanji. Look at him. Look at him. Imagine those eyebrows being photorealistic. Now, stop imagining those eyebrows being photorealistic, because it would be fucking horrifying. We can fix him. Together. And I reckon we could honestly do it without changing the animation, purely by redubbing, or by a sufficiently well-written, like, abridged series. But to do that, we first have to realise that chivalry is dead and frankly not worth the effort of learning necromancy. Sanji's whole code is I don't hit women, which, if he'd come up with it himself, would be a charmingly old-fashioned reminder of a time when we used to brush our teeth with radium, beat our children for breakfast and lunch and dinner, and hadn't yet lost the game. But he got it from Zeph, which makes it something that can't be overcome in a character arc without turning Zeph into a villain. And while thematically it would fit better to make Zeph into a donut than Ace, you know, given the whole chef thing, I don't really see Oda doing that. Don't hit women is often used as a shorthand for, you know, don't hit someone who can't fight back, which is genuinely very good advice. However, when you take don't hit women at face value, just that, it becomes less don't hit women, and much more women cannot take a hit, because they are weak. And to be honest, Sanji doesn't think that. I like that about Sanji. <laughs> Spoilers for Onigashima in his lobby. He's called in both Robin and Nami to help him win fights against women that he just can't because of that code. He understands that women are perfectly capable in a fight, but the fact that he refuses to hit women isn't treated as a character flaw, which it just is. Like, Sanji would absolutely punt a child into the stratosphere, but he would not lay a shoe on Boa Hancock. And you'll notice that I said Boa Hancock and not Big Mom because Oda doesn't actually put Sanji in situations where he has to fight attractive women. And that gives us our solution. Ultimately, Sanji's code of chivalry is really overdone, and the specific kind of misogynistic that makes you call every woman you run into sweetheart. But if Sanji only fights attractive women, what if that's the reason that he won't hit them? Picture this, it's Sanji's flashback to when Zeph tells him never to hit a woman, but instead of what we get, it's something along the lines of there is a special place in hell for men who hit their wives, and I'm not going to deny anyone the pleasure of sending them there sooner. So Sanji hear that and goes, cool, don't hit my wife, that's locked in the old noggin, and this is apparently an AU where Sanji says noggin. But Sanji is, as the youths say, a fucking simp. So he sees an attractive woman and goes, I want to marry her. Oh god, I can't hit my wife. Oh god, what sort of precedent would that set if I hit her? I can't hit her. And all of a sudden, instead of a tired misogynistic trope, Sanji is a powerfully vanilla advocate against domestic abuse. Because the issue with pervert characters was never the fact that they're interested in sex. Frankly, more characters in especially anime should be comfortable with the fact that sex exists. The issue is, the way that most of them are written, they'd want a ticket to the Epstein jet. Minetta. Issue 2! The Absalom fight causes me physical pain and I'm frankly glad he's dead. Speaking of characters who would want a ticket to the Epstein jet, this shit can't. If One Piece weren't a kid's show, he would be a rapist. 
Why don't we give him Sanji's favorite fruit? I think comedy is great in One Piece. I also think that Thriller Bark had enough comedic moments that Nami getting assaulted in the shower and then kidnapped to be married against her will could have culminated in just a systematic destruction of a man, lion, gorilla thing by a chef with a flaming foot. I think that would have been fine. So the fight would be mostly the same. But Sanji with the motivation that we gave him in the previous section would have a little more to say once he realized this was all marriage based. And then we get a flashback to like Sanji finding the page in the encyclopedia being like, this is the clear clear fruit. It makes you and other things invisible. I, it's kind of useless to be honest, if you have observation hockey. That's beside the point. And he'll go, yeah, when I was a kid, I wanted that fruit so I could peep on the women's bathrooms. And then I grew the fuck up. <sighs> and yeah, then you'd have the beat down of the sentry. And when he gets stabbed in the back, you aren't thinking, yeah, if Sanji had that fruit, he would have done the exact same thing as Absalom. Maybe not quite to the same extent, but he, he'd do the peeping thing. And I just, what was otherwise such a good moment was just kind of ruined. Anyway, that fixes most of my issues with, with Sanji, but there's a big thing that's not really Sanji, it's more around Sanji that I hate, and it's that Man in a Dress is not a good joke. It's a terrible joke, to be honest. And I hate that it's in One Piece. Especially given that, like, Kiku is a canonically trans character and that's not actually played for laughs. Like, the only joke that's really associated with it is Usopp and one of the others being like, wait, really? And it's like, oh my god, I didn't realize. Sick, cool, and it's fine. Um, Ivankov is a gender fluid icon. We love it. Very frank and fertile, which we always appreciate. And I'm interested to see how Oda approaches Morley, given that she's canonically identifying as a woman, but very much not presenting as a... It'll be a thing. We wait till we actually get some time with the revolutionaries. But Kamabaka Kingdom, while Sanji is there, is a big ol' Ew, this men dresses. They don't look like women. And it's just... If they're a small part of like a broad non-binary dress sense in anything, it'd be good. It'd be fine. You know, if Sanji weren't physically repulsed by them to the point of learning to fly, it'd be fine. But yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's honestly the hardest thing to change. My best attempt would be that like when he's he's terrified when he initially lands and like, oh my god, men in dresses. And then when he's talking to Ivankov, he's gotten over the whole bullshittery. And then by the time he like gets up the boat, it's a running choke between them. So you kind of get a lot of the same actions, but like, it's bad. It's bad. I don't know. I said I hate Sanji, but that was really just to grab your attention. You've been tricked, pulled into it. It's a scam. I'm not your friend. I don't fucking know. Uh, he could be better. He could also be Minato. I don't have anything else to say, so... Fuck off, I guess. <laughs>